Hey guys. Okay, um, this one's not going to be a serious one, um, though it's not necessarily going to be a goofy one either. Um, this one's going to be about mini discs, or in particular, it's going to be on how to get your mini disc recordings to be computer files that you can use, like MP3 files or whatever, for whatever devices that you might have or whether you want to store them in your computer. Before I begin, um, last bit I did got two responses. Um, one by Joe Schmo and another one was by um, Need to Argue. What's the to argue? Sorry if I messed up your name. Um, I did plan on responding to you guys and I will. I will. Um, just um, got to get my thoughts gathered to get on that one. I'd actually finished recording for um, Joe Schmo first, but I have to cut that one down because it went a little bit longer than I needed to, so I got to redo it. Um, yeah, I just wanted to get that out of the way. Um, yeah. Let me get on with this one. Um, this, by the way, is sort of a response to someone who had recently um, responded to. They left a comment in one of my mini disc um, vids, and the guy was saying how he bought himself a mini, a mini disc unit and recorder a while back, um, and he wanted to find out if there was any way that he can use the files on those discs themselves to become MP3s. I was going to answer him in a regular comment, but it was going to take too long, and I realized that there are probably other people out there who would probably want to get this information. So I'm going to post a response this way, so you can guys get the info here. Um, though, any, any other tips you need, any other questions, um, I'm going to put a link over there to minidisc.org. they got tons of information about the Minidisc format and its units there. And you can also go on the forums with a lot of knowledgeable people there as well. I usually, usually go to them from time to time whenever I need a problem or just simply to keep up on the information. Now, I'm sure you guys have already fathomed. You guys already know I'm a major Minidisc fan. Um, to this day, I don't own a, um, an MP3 player at all. I have no reason to have one. I'm happy with this. This is my unit. It's the NH1. It was one of the first of the high MD formats to come out. Um, it also came with... Well, actually, I had to update the software myself, because the software that came with it, Sonic Stage, that version of it was kind of crappy. If you go back and check some of my other videos, I go into more detail about that. I don't want to waste time repeating myself here. But um, one interesting thing that they did with this newer version of software, and what they started doing with this high-end format, is you could start importing your mini-disc files into your computer for later use. You weren't able to do that before. When the mini disc first came out, you know, people weren't dealing with their computers at the time to store music. And then later on when the MP3 craze came around, about, since Sony was a music, they were a record company themselves and they were all scared about pirating and plus the DMC was cracking down on them, they had limited the amount of recordings you could do and there was no way to take whatever recordings you made outside and put it into your computer through this format. It wasn't until the high MD format came along that they freed those restrictions. And starting with Sonic Stage, I think 3.1, it might have been 3.0, but I know I have 3.1. Um, you were actually able to take recordings and put them on your computer and edit them and do whatever. But there's a catch. The thing that they were um, marketing was what they call legacy recordings. Basically, any mini disc recordings that were made before the NetMD era are able to be imported into your computer. So in other words, before they started going on with this whole computer file stuff, when back when mini discs were simply used as glorified cassettes, any recordings that you made with a unit, like field recordings with a microphone or off the radio or whatever, um, those can be put into your computer through the latest version of Sonic Stage. Well, I don't know about the latest ones because I heard the latest ones aren't really supporting 8-track anymore. I could be wrong, but generally from 3.0 and up, you are able to import them back in. And um, but the only problem is that only works with legacy recordings, what they call like stuff done before NetMD, and any stuff recorded with the high MD format. The NetMD format recorders, however, you still can't put them into the computer, at least through Sonic Stage. So for those of you who have the NetMDs and you want to turn them into MP3s or I guess other MP3 players or computer use or whatever, you're out of luck. If you decide to use Sonic Stage for that. There is still a way to get your files onto your computer even if you're using NetMD recordings. It's a bit cumbersome, but it works. It's what I used to do. 
but you're going to need other programs. First thing, you got to make sure that you've got a line in port or a microphone port on your computer, which just about everybody has these days. It's not hard. Even if you don't have a, a sound card, you got a built in sound card in your, sound, in your motherboard, you should have a line in jack or a microphone jack, or usually both. You also need some type of recording program, something to, you know, take in as it's coming in. And you're going to need something that can convert. Um, actually, you don't really need that. I'll get to that um, in a sec. Actually, let me just make a. I should have organized my thoughts before I did this. Um, before I go on with this technique, one caveat I have to say for the people who are um, using their legacy recordings and importing it into their computer, or they're using their high MD recordings outside to put into their computer, when you import it, it'll be as a WAV file. So if you want it to be an MP3, you're going to need some type of other program to convert it. I personally recommend CDEX, that's what I've been using for years. It's not the greatest one in the world, but it's a decent converting program. I usually have converted all my CDs with CDEX, or if I want to turn a wave into an MP3, or an MP3 into an OOG, or whatever, I use CDEX. It's free, yeah, completely free, no shareware or any of that BS. If you want to pay, you can, but generally it's completely free. It works very, very well, no glitches, no crashes. It's what I depend on. And to get back to what I was saying about people who are stuck with NetMDs trying to put them into their computer, you could use CDEX as well, though I happen to use other programs that are specifically designed to record sound. CDEX is more of a converting program. You can record with it, but it's more of a recording program, I mean, more of a, a converting program. Um, if you have Acid Pro, you can use that to record off of this. Um, if you happen to have um, aud um, aud uh, Audacity, sorry about that. Audacity is another free program, but it's a free sound editing program, and you can record with that as well. So with a program like that, you're ready to begin. You're going to need a double stereo cable, one that plugs into your unit and one that plugs into the computer. You're going to plug it. My particular thing, I have a line in jack, I have a mic jack, and then I have a line out, which of course is where you put your headphones or your remote that connects to the headphones in. That's where you're going to be putting the first end of the stereo cable. Plug it right in here. The other one is going to be going into the line in jack on your um, computer. If not, I guess you can use the microphone jack, but I don't know how well it's going to work, to be honest with you. Um, I, it's best to put it into the line in jack of the computer in the line out jack of your unit. Most NetMD units don't have a mic jack, so don't you, you don't have to worry about confusing your mic jack with your line your line out. I don't see how you could anyway. Um, but once you plug those things in, then you go to whatever you um, open up your recording program. Obviously, make sure that your recording program is going to record off of your line in. Go into your options or your settings or whatever you have to do, and make sure that when you hit record, it's going to be recording off your line in instead of on your mic. Then, of course, you get your disc. You know, oh, sorry, get whatever disc you want, put it into your unit, you know, pick the tune you need to play, and when you press play, press record, and record that way. Once you finish recording, stop your recording, save it as an MP3 file or whatever file you want, and there you go. You set it up for whatever other use that you want to do. It's a bit cumbersome, I'll admit, but it works. And yeah, I'll admit it's also a bit time consuming. It's not as fast as you know a digital thing of just popping one file into another file. It's going to be like the old days of recording, wait for the song to end, press stop, all that. And you might have to do a little bit of fine tuning and editing just in case you got some negative space or silent spots in between your songs. But it works. It's a go around. It's what people who are stuck with NetMD used to do in order to make more than one recording, for, um, more than three recordings really, for their um, discs that workaround worked then and it still works today. So yeah, that's my tip for people using mini discs who need to get their recordings off of their NetMD discs, NetMD files, and they want to put it into their computer as an MP3 or whatever. That's the best way to do it. Um, again, I'll be putting up links over there uh, from the minidisc.org site so you can go in there, check out the forums, check out the tips that they got. Um, I'm going to look up some other links for like CDEX and things like that and put that up for anybody who needs to do that as well and to find those programs. And um, if there's any other questions you might have, feel free to comment or PM me and I'll do my best to give you an answer as quick as I can on this. So, yeah. Hope that helped for you guys out there. Catch you later.